Hi, I'm Mia Gallison, and I'm the owner and creative director of Ibu. Um, we are a New York City-based business. We're 25 years old. We're woman-owned and mother-run. And um, I'd like to tell you, if you don't know about Ibu, some of our differentiating factors and sort of the breadth of the things that we do. Um, we are primarily, I believe, an educational business, and we try to make educational products um, beautifully, well-made, um, out of recycled or sustainable materials. And we like to cover a lot of different areas, a curriculum for the whole child. For example, this is one of our games. It's called Making Change. And this is a very basic educational game that teaches the skills of how to make change. But it's beautifully made with great quality um, elements, and it's easy to play and it's fun. But it teaches a very particular educational skill. Another skill that we're very interested in is literacy, pre-literacy, literacy, storytelling, and uh, communication generally between parents and children, between children and children, between people of inter between kids and intergenerations. So this is a game in which you put together elements of a story, and when you get a good guy and a bad guy and a magical object and all the other things that you need, you tell a story, and that's how you win the game. We have another literacy product that people like very much that we do. These are decks of cards that feature 36 images done by an individual artist. And kids and parents can exchange telling stories using these cards to, as prompts to tell stories to one another. I think this is a great activity and it's very needed because people really do need prompts and help with that. It's so important. Learning by looking is something that we use, an expression that we use for a lot of Ibu products. And this is a pretty good example of it. In this case, these are images. This is a non-competitive game, and um, they're images that were found on the street that are put on strips, and the kids can put these strips together in many ways to make faces. And then after the faces are made, they can talk about the emotions that those faces are having. So this is very quintessential Ibu product, is sort of combining, morphing, um, social and emotional intelligence exercises and creative exercises and visual exercises. We also like to see kids get up from the computers and move around. This is a very simple improv game. And it can involve people of any age. So a three-year-old can play it and a hundred-year-old can play it. And that's the kind of games that we really like to make that encourage family play. That can be fun for both, for all ages. And it's quirky and it gets people moving and it's fun. And we're very proud of this game. Most, if not all, of our products have an Oppenheim Gold or Platinum Award. This one has a gold award. I Never Forget a Face is probably the signature Ibu product. We decided to make this on the eve of the invasion of Iraq, and we decided to take this very traditional format, the memory game, which had always been done with like a shoe and a, a telephone and a banana, and instead of using those iconic images, we were gonna use children's faces from around the world because children like faces, and it was also an opportunity to remind people that there were children in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. So when we made these beautiful portraits, which are by Lizzie Rockwell, um, we labeled them all with the countries that they're from. And we get lots and lots of letters about this product and letters of thanks for 20 years we have, thanking us for giving people an opportunity to talk to children about geography, about race, about ethnicity, and about empathy. So we're really proud of this product. I think this is the Ibu signature product. We also encourage non-directed creative play. Kits are great, but open-ended creative projects are great too, and we make beautiful quality art supplies, and lots of them. We focus a lot on social and emotional skills, and um, also, as I said, empathy. This is a box of what we call conversation cards, and these are pictures of vegetables carved into faces, and this gives parents and children an opportunity to talk about situations, situations where kids may feel uncomfortable at school or at home, and just gives parents a, give parents a toehold into the conversation about how a child is feeling. This is an incredibly important product, and we're very proud of it. We do a lot of product that has to do with geography and science, and this is one of our earliest product called Read to Me. It's a Read to Me Tot Tower. And when we did this back in the early 90s, people said, why are you using language on these blocks? And the, what we answered was, we believe children, even little kids, should be exposed to language and um, 
and the written language, written and, and, and language, and we encourage parents to get down on the floor and really play with your kids and talk to their kids, which we believe is the most important thing. So between pretend play and uh, challenging kids with information that maybe even just slightly above where they're at, just looking to teach and learn them, to, uh, teaching them how to look and think and ask questions and communicate, we believe is extremely important. So we have this little booklet called Ibu Always Good and Why because we have a lot of things that we're very proud of, like the fact that our stuff is very safe, that it's gotten lots of awards, that we use wonderful children's book illustrators and great designers, um, that we call upon a group of people to advise us when we're doing products, expert, experts in all different fields, psychology and teaching, and also the great illustrators that we work with. Um, this is available to anyone. You can see it on our website, www.ibu.com. You can call us. Anyone will talk to you. We're not in our office now, but we're at home. And we'll send you a catalog or answer questions. And it's nice to meet you. Thank you very much.